Yo, come in. Hey man, I was... Jake, meet us. Yeah, I know who you are. What do you want? Well, I noticed you haven't done a video in a while, and... I was just wondering if you maybe needed some ideas. Yep. Roggy, what's your idea? Well, I actually found these cheap headphones on Amazon and people seem to really be into that kind of thing, so I was wondering if you wanted to have a look at these. <clears throat> the fuck? It's empty. Yeah, well, I kind of already tried them out for you and I thought I could probably maybe save you some time. How much are they? 35 bucks. Fuck, true. You charge cheaper for a hand job. Well, a little bit cheaper anyway. Are they any good? Yeah, they're okay. I mean, they're a little bit bass heavy, um, but not in a good kind of way. Like, it's a really dirty, muddy type of bass kind of thing, if that makes any sense. Yeah, well, not bad for 35 bucks, I guess. Couldn't expect much else. What about battery life? Any good? Uh, yeah, actually not too bad. Um, they have a 500 milliamp battery built in, so they lasted me at like mid to heavy usage over the span of like 13 hours, which is pretty impressive. Um, I didn't even get any low battery alarms or anything like that, so yeah. Okay, okay. Wicked, wicked. How do they charge? USB-C? No. Fuck. USB micro. Not exactly. Be dead, mate. What then? Kind of charges by a dock, which is USB micro powered. Jesus Christ, no. Yeah. Oh, well, that's fucked. So they are actually IPX5 rated, which means they can deal with a bit of dust, a bit of sweat, a little bit of shit. You know, but in general, companies actually have to pay for that rating, which I highly fucking doubt that these guys actually paid for that. So I'd probably take that as a bit of bullshit. But that being said, it explains why they don't actually have a, a, a USB port to charge them. Probably helps seal it up a little bit. Do they cancel noise, at least? Do I have to listen to every motherfucker on the motherfucking plane? Well, they do advertise noise cancellation, but in my usage, I couldn't tell at all, basically. The only noise cancellation you're getting out of these things, as advertised, is through just loud noise, which does work, but it's not noise cancellation like they say. It's missing an earbud tip. Yeah, it kind of just popped off the other night. Useless. You're fucking useless, mate. Whoa. Shots fired. Um... They do actually come with spare tips, so I guess it's not so bad. Okay, would you recommend them? Are they hashtag worth it? Well, if you're looking for a decent set of headphones that can put out a lot of volume, they can put a lot of bass out if that's your thing, they're water and dust resistant, they're probably going to do fine for you, but that being said, I think we both know that we could find headphones that do the exact same thing but also have a charging port for me that's kind of a deal breaker so that's a solid no from me okay good work now fuck off hey jacob pick up your game mate and no one got time for that shit. Wanker. Guys, thanks for watching this video. Basically, I was just trying something new for a uh, style of reviewing uh, products. If you like that style of video, hit the like button. It shows me that you do actually like that shit. Um, if you don't like it, that's also fine. Hit that dislike button and I'll steer away from that type of video. Like I said, just a new idea. Try to make shit interesting rather than just the old, same old, oh, this is what's good, oh, this is what's bad, blah, blah, blah. Just try to make some new shit, you know, new ideas. Make shit interesting. Anyway, guys, 
Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye.